Sometimes when you grow up in the church and uh, then you decide that you find yourself and you decide that you want to do your own thing. And so he's, uh, praise God, there he is. Teacher, I need this friend too, praise God. Now let's, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> So he does not come to church no more. But I'm not worried. I know God is still in control. Yes, 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 yes. Rather walk on that day. Praise the Lord. Jesus, you love. We 
there is a, to Mr. Wesley, there's a little something that we sing that we, we're not worried about it. Oh, when Christ in the vessel, he was lying upon the star.
want Teacher Ian Gray to lead us in prayer, Teacher Ian. I want you just stay right there. I know you have bad knees like mine, so just stay right there, Teacher Ian. Praise, oh, praise. strength. We thank you for grace and mercy. 
Oh, hallelujah. We just want to worship you right now. Omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient God. You are all by yourself. Looking at us and blessing us accordingly, Jesus. Give us good hearts towards this place, towards your people, towards this event. We love him, oh God. Father, thank you. Chief Apostle Roseman. Give him a wonderful day. Give him a wonderful evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Just to let you know that Teacher Inge was not on the program to do the back attack. She just said to us that she's a soldier enlisted in the army of the Lord. I am a Mr. Mondale Oliver is he here. Not here yet? Praise God, praise God. I want to welcome all that. Jesus loves the little children. Like him. All the children. No black and white, there are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Praise God, praise God. So, first person has been a scratch. She's running a little late, praise God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. What about Minister Don Joseph? Still. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Let me call another. Bishop Dreckett. Come. Bishop Dreckett, her first name is Antoinette. Give her a round of applause for her dress. Praise God. They're going to be given up. A prize for the best dress. Could you tell Minister Ro uh, Chief Apostle Roseman of the headaches that he has just signed up for and that, 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 that is going to be a bed of thorns and uh, the roses are going to be at his side but he's going to be laying on the thorns. Just tell him, Bishop Anthony Trent. Hi, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. I am praise God happy to be here this evening on this occasion. Praise God, giving honor to God because he's sovereign. There's no other God but him. We praise God. Amen uh, to Chief Apostle um, Roseman. Amen. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, my prayer partner, friend of the Reverend uh, Father Alan Jones. Amen. And to the entire ecclesiastical function present here this evening. Amen. I want to extend an evening's greetings to you. Uh, praise God. Um, uh, to our dear, amen, uh, Chief Apostle Roseman, amen, uh, praise God, I am uh, thinking, uh, praise God, on my way here, and uh, um, I said uh, these titles, uh, amen, they sound so good and pumpy. And uh, not talking about the vestments. So regal. But uh, uh, um, what lies beyond that? You see, it's good uh, when we acquire these titles, but um, we have to step back and pause a while to think of the responsibility that is laid upon us when we, amen, uh, 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 praise God, all these titles. Because, amen, uh, praise God, uh, Paul in Romans chapter 1 before he gave his uh, uh, titles, he said, I, Paul, a servant of the Lord, called to be an apostle. You see, we first have to realize that we are servants. You know, you have folks because of these titles, they think that, amen, they are part of the monarchy. Yeah. And that um, folks, uh, amen, should uh, continually bow and lift them up. And, uh, uh, and, and uh, you're merely an apostle servant. Yeah. We praise God. Yeah. Uh, your function is to uh, serve the people of God. Yes, yes, yes. You see, one of the virtues uh, that a lot of folks cannot amen master up to now is the virtue of humility. To be humble. You know, regardless, uh, amen, uh, of what uh, you are called or uh, uh, what you have attained. But first know that your responsibility is to the people of God that have been entrusted to your care. <laughs> that you would feed them and not beat them. That you, amen, uh, would see, praise God, uh, hallelujah. You know, I was thinking just week, this week about David. David, uh, hallelujah, amen, uh, was, uh, amen, a humble shepherd boy. I'm coming out your face. I, I find myself, I'm so preaching. Uh, was a humble shepherd, a boy. Amen. And we know the story when um, Samuel the prophet was sent down to Jesse's house. And when Jesse learned uh, that, amen, uh, that uh, 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 some anointing was going on and the title was that of king. He had all his sons uh, uh, who looked like. Uh, dressed up and go in front. 
front. Uh, but each of them that came before, amen, Samuel, uh, Samuel himself was fooled. He said, ah, this one look like it. God said, ah, uh ah, -uh, only that oil, all the oil, this is not the one. And David, when he says, is this all? Ah, uh, a little one back there. Don't think you want to see, bring him come. And as he came, the voice of God said, this is the one. And we got to know, even after we are anointed, amen, we are not all there yet. We are still a work in progress. Because after David was anointed, he went back to tend to the sheep. And after he did, Apostle Roseman. He was humble. His brothers were members of the military. And we know the story. He was out in the army. They were there getting themselves ready to fight for light. And his father said to him, the one with the anointing, take some lunch over to your brothers. And he didn't stop to think, hey, what he's sending me, I am going to be a king. He gladly ran, and I'm going to close on this note. When he got where they were, he began to inquire, and when he heard the Goliath taunt and he was and then his brother Eliab you are going to meet a lot of Eliabs oh, in your life Eliab said how oh, dare you come here huh you have no military training you know nothing about this how oh, dare you come here Making inquiry like you are all of that. But when you know that you know that you know that God has truly not just called you, but has chosen you. It's one thing to be called and it's another thing to be chosen. And you don't worry, but my closing note to you, regardless of what, remain humble. Remain, I want you to work upon that virtue, that virtue of humility. And then we know, hallelujah, because can I tell you something? A lot of eyes are watching you. Yes. So you, praise God, Amen. got to watch your steps. And if you are walking in the order of God, then you have nothing to worry about. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And God keep you in Jesus. Thank you, Bishop Anton and Drekin. She made two points that I that stuck with me. She said that even though David was anointed to be the king of Israel, he still had to deliver food for Uber Eats. Yes, yes. <laughs> My son gets a lot of deliveries of Uber Eats, and David came and he had to go to the battlefield to drop the food for his uh, brothers. Praise God, praise God. And she also said to the chief apostle, a lot of eyes are on you, sir. They asked Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus says, you say so, not me, no. And Jesus also said, to whom much is given, Chief Apostle Rosemary, much is 
required. And so, all eyes are on you, sir. And uh, I don't know about anybody else. Don't make me shame, please, of God, sir. Yeah. Please. Please. You're going to call Minister Gray. Is Minister Gray here? Is Minister Gray here? Come on, Minister. All eyes are off, Minister Roseman, they are you now. Praise the Lord. Come on, man, lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, let me hear you shout hallelujah in this place. Listen, we are still in worship. Amen? We are celebrating an office that is well-deserved and well-worked for. Praise God. Let me greet the man of God. I'm honored to be here this evening. Our chief apostle, my brother and friend, praise God. To my father sitting next to him, Bishop Mother Jack, it's all the clergy, Bishop Batiba, and all saints, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God, when I, I was extended this invitation, I could not say no. I just leave New York, but I has to be here for a reason. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And I'm just here to do what I do best. Praise God. So my sister and friend, Minister of Music, we're going to do it tonight. Praise God. Can you tell me how long I've on this stage? Praise God. Been in the storm. It seems like...
Them change the gate. And me just sleeping at the airport and never know say gate change. While them on the last part of the morning, me and them say Washington DC at the gate of the world. So I run to the lady and say, oh, them at Washington DC. The lady say gate change us from J, G, Gan, Wailong, and F10. Bridget never see me run faster than you say, Bolt. <laughs> I said, I run because I say, me know if me missed the flight that this morning, Problem I'm gonna create. So I'm glad I'm being here tonight. I want you to enjoy yourself. Dance. Me there have your food and still enough. But me I tell you I'm here to enjoy myself. And I love the Baptist to be around the Baptist. It's a bad revival. From here yet me get saved. And until I say I walk near to Jesus, because some people go on like them carry Jesus breakfast. And they never do nothing yet. But as them hear something about a brother or a sister. They're ready to bring them down. But let me tell you something, my apostle, you are young tonight. And let me tell you, me now I'm gonna tell you, sir, this road will be easy. This road hard. Why do you ever feel like us throwing the toil? But I know the purpose that God called me for. Amen. So you see, when people are taught, just let them talk, because you see, when they talk, we're important. The more they talk, the more we get nice and just and look good. So I don't worry about people. Praise the name of Jesus. Because God is my strength. And I will continue to look unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. Knowing that my help cometh from God. Which made the heaven and earth. You are many accuser in the house of God. In Christendom now. More than somebody who to give you a strength of words. As I turn back, they get back, then bring it down. But to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. What do you think? Say, Baptist. 
shall run and not fail. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. How to wait. They that wait. Hallelujah. 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 We praise the Lord, we praise the Lord, we praise the Lord. We are in the right setting, hallelujah. We are in the right setting today. We bless God, God wake me up this morning, hallelujah. I have enough to give him thanks for this morning. We bless the Lord, hallelujah, so do you. He woke you up this morning, hallelujah. It is enough to give God praise and thanks. For he said, let everything that has breath, give him the praise. Amen. I just want to thank God that I'm here today, my brother. I would not have missed this. I want to let you know it is not an easy road. Every step you go, every step you climb, it's, it gets harder and harder. But I want you now to look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith and your work. It will not be easy. And as I heard Bishop Jacket said, the eyes is on you. You are the mirror. Many will look at you, but let the life that you are living on live for Christ. So that he will speak for you. Yes to come. We bless God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God. You see when men of God elevate. You got to give them. You got to encourage them. Amen. You got to encourage them. Give it the heart. You got to encourage them. Because this step is not an easy step. Hallelujah. Because some wish that every step you make them in. Then why you make too backward. But I want you to keep climbing higher and higher. Because the skies is no limit. And you have to do it in Christ. Amen. Without him you can't do it. Hallelujah. And with your dependency right now is on Christ. I just want to let you know that. When men come and say this. Go to God. Because God has all the answers. We bless God that the Holy Spirit may rest upon you from this day forward. For your ministry. Be strong in the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Give Pastor Warren a round of applause. I want to call Pastor Mitchell. Pastor Mitchell. You've been through the valley. You've been through the mills. You've been up the mountain. You've been around the block a couple of times. And I'm sure you can give a word of <clears throat> advice, comfort, consolation to the chief apostle. That's your friend. In Jesus' name, amen. Give her a chance while she fix her hair, please. In Jesus' name. Come, this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust in, in his holy word. Never fail you yet. Oh, 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 oh,
Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. He truly is a rewarder to all those that diligently seek him. Come on, bless the Lord. Amen. Brethren in Christ, tonight, a peace and a wonderful good evening to everyone here. Praise the Lord in your respective offices, the head tables, the people in this great function, a peace and a wonderful God, hallelujah, Worship evening, praise God. But most of all to the man that kept me, despite all my nasty, dirty, stinking ways, because let me tell you, leave me by myself by the mess. But he kept me. So to him, to God be the glory. Great things he has done, I need to tell him, thank you because I'm alive and well. Hallelujah. Um. What must I tell? Oh my God. This man of God, he wears so much different hats to me. Uh, friend, son, brother, agitator, because sometimes God knows he ain't easy. But I love him in spite of. So I'm here to celebrate this occasion with you. We've been through the storm. You see how I put a pull out tonight for you. We've been through the pull storm tonight. The, isn't she lovely? This is storm. This, this is storm. I, I, I had to pull storm out for him tonight. Amen? Because we've been through the storm and the rain. But we made it. So... Yes, yeah, Shari. <laughs> we made it. And I'm at a point in my life right now where we reevaluate a lot of things. And one of the things I've been reevaluating is that a statement, even I and all of us have made that it's not easy serving God. I have gotten to a point in my life where I don't say that anymore. Because what we speak is what we manifest. And if Jesus said his yoke is easy and his burden is light, why am I going contrary to that? So I speak to myself now, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. But the decision I made will affect how my walk outcome determines. So hear what? If you make permanent decision on some temporary emotions, you will have a problem. A serious problem. But if you make decisions on in all thy ways acknowledging and I, the I am, I, Jesus, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the bright and the morning star. Acknowledge him. And oh God, Bishop, he, he will direct your back. So today is the walking hard. The decisions you made going to have conflict with your walk with God. Your good friend, your mother, you're in a position now, I heard Bishop Drecker tell you something and it is so true that we pass it over. And this elevation, you have now taken up the legal rights to be a full-time servant. That's an apostleship. Well, well. Amen, Church of God? Amen. That in, you, you took the legal rights now. It didn't fancy and dandy, you know. You took the legal rights to take up apostleship, which is to serve God's people in spirit 
and in truth. And God being your help and I on your own, mm -hmm, we're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. And you know how I just drop it. Hallelujah. So may God bless you. And Brethren, it, it is easy to be my friend if I just really, truly, with all my heart, my soul, my body and spirit, want to walk right. I just want to live right. I want to do the right thing because I made a decision in my life. And if you go hang with me and you're not on board with that, keep it pushing. Don't frustrate my thing. You understand? If you already attain and reach, I don't have a problem with that, but don't frustrate my hand on the way up. Cool? You don't make nobody do the same. I pray it will fall and come short of the glory. But if it should happen, get up. Get up. Because none of us have a heaven or hell to put in. So may God bless you and may he keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, praise God. My heart, Lord. Just to sing about you. For oh, how long, you Jesus, I in I love your name. Be no long time, my go in him glad you came. Others go on doing what they wanna do, but it makes me happy just to sing about you. So I've tasted some tea drop, some heartaches. In vain, I've reached for those rainbows, but only in vain. I was so wretched, I so lonely, and so blue. Till I found a song, Lord, just to sing about you. For how long, you Jesus, and I love your name. It been a long time, my God. And I'm glad you came. So let others go on doing what they want to do. But hit me. to the Ecclesia. I bring you greeting in Jesus' name to our uh, <laughs> my father chose Amen. Hallelujah. And our uh, beloved Dr. Jack Jackets. Amen. I and more than all, to our chief 
Apostle Pas uh, Roseman, Roseman and my Bishop Warren over there. Amen. And the rest of ministers are too many to go. I am grateful this evening for the golden opportunity that I can be here. Amen. I understand as a servant and as a servant and your gap are placed with some gifts that the Bible declare. And one of the thing is gifts were given. The gift is not for us. This is the mistake we keep making. We thought the gift is for us. But the gift is not for us. The gift is for the edifying. Did you just say the church? Ooh, hallelujah. Hey. It's for the edifying of the church, the body of Christ. Once we receive the gift, we are not belonging to ourselves. We are now come servant. And this is what called public servant. Do not forget, we are now public servant. So therefore, it's not what we think it's not what we believe, but what the word said. Chief Apostle, I can tell you, if you have your glove, put your gloves and put it on because it's a real fight. Because most of the time, we as ministers, we are very hypocritical. And I'm laughing with you, but I'm not really laughing with you. I try to say I'm celebrating you, but I'm not really celebrating you. And, and this is the problem we have in the Ecclesia. This problem that as we fight each other, What we should be doing, putting our collective effort together to break down and pull down the struggles of the enemy. But instead what we do, we do against each other. So therefore, we don't know who is who. As we're in a world today, we hardly can identify the Ecclesia. Amen. <laughs> Did you just say the word quotes? Yeah, quotes. Aye, aye. When I there, I will show that tonight, though, because it's not for shouting. <laughs> but there are quotes. But they receive a gift. I charge you, dear fool. Before God and His only angel, Manesi Basa. You made full proof of your ministry. The ministry that God gave to you, not yours. Everybody said, My church, my church. When you died on the cross, when you died on the cross, that you have church. And when you die, that you have church. I don't know that. Jesus said, Apostle, upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Chief Apostle, it's a real tough road. Sometimes I get dreary. I get really dreary and said, I would hang the tongue. But when I remember, 
where the Lord brought me from. It's some over some 40 years I've been serving. And I still looking young like I'm maybe 13 years old. But <laughs> over some 40 of years I've been serving. And God has been good to me. I fall down, you know. Any minister tell you till you don't make no mistake, run from them. You you actually to you? If he said he don't make a mistake, I remember coming to sin. Move from them quickly. Because they're not telling the truth. How does a man sin and I go and sit down? Three ways. Three ways. So get this, you pen and paper, don't forget this. Your thoughts, your words, and your action. Three ways. And before anything comes to fruition, it must come through your thoughts. So before you even do the thing in action, you already sin in your thoughts. God bless you. Congratulations on your achievement. God continue to bless you to continue to make full proof of your ministry in Jesus' name. Praise God, praise God. Thank you, Bishop Johnson. Thank you, Bishop Johnson. I see Mother Daphne is at the back. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Someone just whispered to me and told me that, um, please, uh, yes, dear. <laughs> praise God, Mother Daphne, praise God. I say if you want to be a pope, you can be a pope. Because I saw that anointing on him. I love the words that were given this afternoon unto you. I know you're very young. And in being young, you will make mistakes. But as the mother, I call her Mother Dreckett. I call her mother because I like how she mothers the word. Within your situation as a chief and apostle, you're very young. And I want you to realize that within the position, it's not even a position. You're a servant. It's all about servitude. And the higher the level, as we say, the bigger the devil. So you have to have yourself in a situation where it doesn't matter whatever happens, I will serve my God and his people. Let nothing separate you from your calling and your ministry. This is the beautiful part of it. As I always tell people when they're having a baby, when we young men are having a baby, the good part is the, is the baby shower. With all the gifts, and everybody's around, but when time to baby babies, you're alone. So you're about to give birth at some point within your ministry. I think you're older, you'll be dealing with other churches. And the church is not a building, it's people. 
and to every man have a different function. Some will come to a church just to destroy. Some may come to lift you up. Some will love you. Some will hate you. Some will flatter you. Some will even use you. But you still have to give God the glory. Do not take this position and act like if you are the Christ. You are not the Christ. Jesus was Jesus. Wash his disciples' feet before he left. So he shows us straight humility. I love humility. A humble child will be exalted. But when you exalt yourself, you should be humbled. My son, I want you to stick to the script and do the will of God. Do not embarrass yourself over nonsense. Amen. There are a lot of aggressive people well, well. that will come at you. With some stuff, sometimes people have some notebooks. With some stuff that they know about you from since you were a child. You have to bypass that. Yes, yes, yes. You are bigger than that. So true. And once you wear in a title like this, you have to forget all these things. And look to the hills from whence coming to hell. Your help comes from the law. Whatever you do good, try not to do it better. And be the best of what you could ever do. Please God. You please God, but you still have to please man. People say you don't please man. Yes, you have to please them. Because they are your spiritual children. So at some times, you might have to give up your right. If you're wrong, sometimes you're right. If you're right, you're wrong. And if you're wrong, you're still wrong. At the head of the table is always the worst part. Uneasy is the head that wears the crown. So son, I wish you all the best. And I pray God that you will climb that ladder as high you can go. But I'm going to leave a little song with you. But you're going to have peace again.